I really hope that a lot of these companies take it a little more seriously than I did just a week ago. Well, the way you get around town is changing. Rideshare companies and Capital Metro both responding to the coronavirus. And both are taking steps to ensure your safety. This morning, Cap Metro switching to its Sunday service schedule. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez is joining us this morning to break it down. Good morning, Candy. Good morning. Tom and Sally, good morning. Yeah, this move comes after on Monday, the transit agency saw a 40% drop on ridership across the entire system, across their buses. And so they wanted to do this to help reduce their carbon footprint, but also do what's best for the transit agency as we move forward during these times. But there are some exceptions, and in that includes this route right here, Route 228, which is an important route. It's a crucial route for the company, and that will operate on weekday normal operation hours, and that's because this takes riders to the VA clinic, but the majority of the bus and rapid routes will look like a Sunday service, as you mentioned, so it'll start an hour later and less frequent routes. Just to give you an example, if you usually see a bus coming every 15 minutes, you may see it now every 20 to 30. Riders can also expect a reduction in Cat Metro's flyer and express routes. Rail service will operate Monday through Friday, but don't expect Saturday service or late night trips. And on demand pickup services will happen between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Now, when it comes to rideshare companies, Uber and Lyft will suspend all shared pool rides until further notice. These are the rides people can share with others. One Uber driver was not aware of the change until we told her. She tells us she has only received an email from Uber and that was last week. The driver adds she would support temporarily shutting down services to protect the community. Be more transparent. Uh, you have no problem when you know sending push notifications to drivers when they're doing something wrong like speeding or they get a complaint. So if you're able to do that, I, I should I should think that you're able to send us a notification to keep us in line with what your company is doing. And just to give you an example, that driver tells me that last weekend she decided to drive around for three hours. She only got two trips out of it and only made seven dollars. Now, Uber and Lyft reps, reps tell me that their drivers are their top priority. And Uber says right now they're in the process of getting some cleaning products to their drivers so they can keep their cars clean during this time. Uber also says they will financially assist those who are quarantined because of COVID-19. I also reached out to Ride Austin and some of our local taxi companies, but I didn't hear back from them in time. Now, when it comes to Cat Metro, as for example, this route right here, I asked them what will happen once we do see community spread of COVID-19. They tell me they are actively working on a plan. And while we will see a reduction in service starting today, Cat Metro says it does not anticipate completely suspending service as people need to get around. Sally. Okay, Candy, thank you. The list of route and service changes is really a lot to go through. So Candy made it easy for us. She put her story on our website, kxan.com. That way you can click on that and she walks you through it. All right.